Hello and welcome to the new section of exception handling in Python. That's a nice word, exception. Something that's not expected. And uh, let's see how we can handle it in Python. But uh, before that, let's be clear on errors that we may get. So there are syntax errors and uh, then there are exceptions. So for example, over here, when we have uh, a equal to two, but uh, instead of one quote over here, we have this additional single quote. And if you run something like this, it will give you an error. And it will also mention that uh, this is a syntax error. And it happens not while running, but while compiling the program. These are very easy to take care of and it won't cause any major problem. But when we have something like this, where a is equal to 2 but is in string format and uh, 3 is an integer we will surely get a type error that we can only concatenate the string with another string and not the integer and this is nothing but the exception something that happens at the runtime but due to some unexpected event and that's what we mean by the exceptions so they are exceptional events that disrupt the normal flow of the program. So when you compile, it won't be a problem and it won't give you an issue during the normal flow of the program. But for some odd event or exceptional events, we will get an error. And typically they occur when things are beyond our control. So things uh, such as the files, our uh, programs are supposed to read from certain files and uh, what if they are not there? What if the program which is supposed to create it has not run for uh, some reason? Then it could also be because the database is not available. So in such cases, when we try to connect and execute some queries, it may give us an exception or uh, there could be network issues also. Maybe we are uh, trying to connect to some server and we cannot connect to it for uh, some reason. Maybe the internet is down or the server is down or uh, something like that. Another reason is uh, maybe we are trying to connect to some uh, third party application such as uh, banks or uh, Visa or Master or uh, some credit bureau to check for someone's credit history. Something like that. And what if that service is not available? Maybe that system is down. Again, we will get an exception. And another very common reason is that of user behavior as well. We may ask the user to enter the input in a particular manner and the user somehow by mistake types something else, such as a character instead of a number. Again, there is a possibility that our program will raise an exception. There can be many such scenarios and it's very important to handle them to maintain the normal flow of the application. Otherwise, we may have systems crashing instead of dealing with them. All right. And uh, we have seen some of these. You may have uh, also encountered while writing your own exercises and uh, programs. And this is one of the very common ones where it says uh, file not found error if we have not given the correct uh, working directory or if the file is not there. Then uh, another one we saw many times was uh, when we try to access an element of the list and go beyond the length of the list or even at times when we forgot to pass an argument to a function or uh, didn't define a variable and uh, used it without defining it. These are all examples of exceptions, but very simple ones. Okay, so now that we know what the exceptions are, let's now see how we can handle them. And uh, there are basically two ways of doing that. One are uh, the assertions and uh, then we have the default exceptions. When we say assertions, we usually raise them. That means our program raises it when something has gone wrong. And uh, we usually do that using statements such as assert and raise. Okay, 
and uh, we will see that in the next few lectures when we do the hands-on it's not that difficult at all let's first see what are the default exceptions that are raised by the python and how to handle them so this is the typical structure that we follow when we are trying to handle the exceptions raised by python so we ask python to try something which means try running this code and then after running it there are two possibilities one is what if something goes wrong then we tell python hey please don't crash rather execute this block under accept and uh, while trying to execute this code if it goes fine then please execute this block under the else and finally please execute this so this block of finally will always be executed irrespective of whether we got the error or not so if i have to create a small flowchart of it this is how it will look like so we ask python to try something did it fail no well then go to else and then finally do this but if it fails go to accept and then to finally so there would be some code such as uh, closing the file and cleaning up or uh, releasing some of the resources that our program may have to do irrespective of success or failure and uh, that's why we have this finally great so now without spending much time on understanding the theory let's go and do it in python Thanks for watching.